Welcome to Business Budget Model. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the CapEx and the CapEx items purchased on installment sales agreements. Installment sale agreement is the same as a finance, finance agreement where a deposit is paid and the balance is paid over monthly or quarterly installments. From the navigation page, we can select CapEx and installment sales either by clicking on the macro button or alternatively selecting the sheet with the tab name below. Once selected, the following screen will appear. Just to highlight, the currency is totally dependent on what currency you've selected for, for your budget. At the top here, we have the ability to capture 12 different finance agreements. And you can rename them as you require. All the brown shaded cells are input cells and the white shaded cells are calculated amounts and protected cells. We have navigation keys at, at the top here to allow us to easily toggle between the, the different areas, between the CapEx schedules, the installment sale schedules, the purchases, which is the section here, etc. You would effectively capture each agreement and you would call it um, whatever you have chosen, bank agreement one. You can select the month in which the purchase of that particular item took place from the drop down list. The CapEx category is once again a selection of however you have named your five different CapEx categories. In this example, we'll just select computer equipment. That or GST will appear here depending on whether you've set your system up to be a VAT based system or a GST based system. You key in the actual amount. It will calculate based on the percentage, the amount, and you can key in what your deposit is that you're paying. So if you're paying a deposit at the beginning of the purchase, when you take uh, possession of the, the asset, you would put in the amount, and please note the indication that the amount must be entered as a negative amount. So if we put down, say, a, a 10,000 deposit, it will insert it there. You put in the interest rate applicable that um, is being charged by the financing institution, so if that is 5% or 5.5%, you can capture that. And then the monthly installment as according to the agreement. And once again, um, you're required to enter the repayment as a negative amount. So we may have to pay, say, 1,500 a, uh, a month, so around 1,500 we would put in there. Okay. It would then capture that particular uh, amount in the appropriate uh, period. Now you'll see because I selected the month of November 20 and its computer equipment in the first capex item here, computer equipment, you can see that amount of the 100,000 um, has been automatically inserted there. From a cash flow perspective, these amounts that you're paying will come off your cash flow in the budget sheet. And that's how you would simply capture your particular amounts. Okay. Um, if you have, if you have um, adjustments to do, you, you can actually revalue if there's an adjustment to the finance rate, whatever it might be, you can actually enter the amount as a positive or a negative amount to either increase or decrease the, the uh, value of, of the outstanding amount. You will see here, um, we have separated CapEx purchases purchased via installment sales, which will automatically come from the category above, or CapEx purchases on COD or term. So that's where you've paid for the, the, the asset outright. You would actually just key in the amount um, of the value of the asset at that point in time, excluding your, your VAT, and automatically the cash flow will be adjusted uh, and your valuation of your, your assets will, will be increased. 
Um, depreciation is automatically calculated on your on your asset on your assets as you've set up your depreciation amount in your assumptions sheet. So, in summary, for any uh, capex items purchased on an instalment sale agreement or a financial agreement, you can capture it in in the cells above or in the table above, and the schedules will take care of itself. As far as the capex schedules are con concerned, um, these are for the five schedule amounts, just a reconciliation on a monthly basis based on any additional purchases, uh, any repayments, and any adjustments that, that you make. And these are carried through to where applicable the cash flow statement, any adjustments where applicable will go into the income statement in, into, and I will deal with that in the um, tutorial that, that covers the, the income statement. As far as the installment sale schedules are concerned, this will be the schedules that, schedules that will apply to all the individual uh, finance agreements. You'll see earlier on we captured one we called it Bank Agreement 1, the, the name will come through. For your instalment sale purchases or purchases by finance agreement, if you had any existing agreements in place at the start of your budget period, you would capture it here in these blue shaded, pale blue shaded cells in column B, where you'd put your opening balance, in this instance would have been the balance as at the 30th of, 30th of June, seen as our budget starts at the 1st of July and then the amounts will obviously carry through. You capture any of your repayments that you make, once again brown shaded sale, cells allow you to, to capture those details, please capture them with a negative amount and any adjustments to increase or decrease the particular um, values. You have, as mentioned earlier, you have 12 different agreements that you can enter into will be part of for the period of the 36 month period of your budget, your three year budget. Once you finish capturing or making any adjustments, um, we can simply return to the navigation page or any other sheet. That concludes the tutorial on CapEx and assets purchased via installment sales or finance agreements. Thank you.